Hi guys, welcome to this video. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to copy a corrupted profile from uh, a user profile from uh, one account to a brand new, fresh, uh, clean account. Okay, so what you're going to need to do obviously, we're going to be doing this in Windows Vista. But what you're going to need to do is first create two other accounts. Okay, so we're going to go to the control panel and then user accounts. And then obviously manage accounts. So as you can see, this is our account that we've got, and now we're going to pretend this is obviously corrupted. And I want to copy everything across from this account to a brand new account. Okay, so what you need to do is create your new account, what you want to call it. Maybe call Bright Brightech Two or whatever. Okay, whatever. So we'll call this. Uh, I'm going to call this Brightech Two. Like so, create that, and then obviously you need to create another one, and we're going to call this temp, okay? And we're going to call this temp. That's just going to be a temporary account, okay? So once we've done that, so we've got the Bright Tech Two. That's going to be our new one. And this is our old one, and this is our temporary account. So what we need to do now is just log into these accounts so they can be created by Windows Vista so we just need to create go into Brightech 2 first this will quickly create it and then we can log off this account and go into the temp account which is where we're going to do our work once we've copied all our stuff across we can delete the temporary account because you can't be in the account that you're going to be t copying stuff to if that makes any sense okay so now we're in our temporary account so what we need to do is go to my computer okay and then into the C drive and then users now we can see our Brightech account we can see our temp account which we're in so we need to go into the Brightech account and then we need to go organize and then folder and search options view show hidden files like so and uh, obviously you need this one as well operating system files and that's going to show us all the other files that we need okay and the trick here is to we don't want these we want all these files up the top here okay all these hidden ones as well okay now what we need to do is click on that one and hold the shift key down and click on that and then right click and copy and then we need to come into our Brightech 2 and then right click and paste and then say yes like so you just put the tick in there like so just keep saying yes to it let it do okay job done now if you do get permission access denied okay what you need to do is you need to come into um, you need to right click and then share Okay, go into the share properties and then you need to go security. Okay, so basically go to the folder that you're on, which you want to copy, so which is the Brightech one, right click on that, share, then security. Okay, then come down to advanced. Now we've got the owner here, you need to click on owner okay and then basically what you want to do is this is the administrator account for this okay so you would need to obviously edit like so and you need to click on this here okay like so and then put that um, tick in there and apply an okay and then it will give you ownership okay 
and that will give you the ownership for that folder and then you'll be able to copy all your stuff across so if you are getting the that's only if you're getting the actual um, access denied you come in here and that's what you do you click on there put that in there apply an OK and that will give you the rights then obviously you go back and then you can actually copy what I just did there and it will actually come across so what I need to do now is come out of this account log off Okay, and then go into my new account, Brightech 2. We should have all our files in there, like so. Okay, and everything's come across exactly how it should be. So now we've got our nice new account. We can now come to Control Panel, User Accounts, Manage Other Accounts, and now we can delete this temp account. We don't need it anymore. Delete all the files, delete the account. And if we wanted to, we could delete the other one as well. Okay, so I hope this has been some use to you, how to get around uh, a corrupt user profile and make a brand new one. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. Please subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. If you've got any requests for videos, please send me an email or, or leave a comment or something like that. Okay, thanks very much. Bye for now.